We got we we got to move away from the Steve chatter, like so everybody fun. else. Uh, it is quite enjoyable, but there's some there's some Super Smash Brothers Ultimate to to be played here in a loser semis match. Zero zero kicking off right into Gen against Mega, and we're starting off with some neutral. We're starting with the nooch. Yeah, Gen moving from you know like we were saying before, very specialized character like Duck Hunt into a much more kind of fundamentals based character like Ike. Yeah, so, and that is going to that means you're going to be like highly, highly rewarded by understanding different spacings and playing with empty movement so much more uh, so much more efficiently. And Alutena definitely has all of that in spades, as does Ike. Ike can play around with like quite literally empty hopping so, so well, especially when you start mixing in uh, different burst options like quick draws. Like, like that, that one. Like that one. It's one of the few things where I really enjoy seeing like quick draw platform like that, because it's just so silly, but it can be a surprisingly devious mix-up. And right now, the survivability coming out from Mega being so good, something that, you know, I feel like you wouldn't really expect to see because things like that happen. You have moves like Palutena up smash, but also just Jen as a player, as we've seen so far on stream tonight, Jen just so good at making the most out of his uh, edge guarding and ledge trapping opportunities. It feels like just, you know, once Jen gets you to that ledge, you're, you're there for a good 30 seconds at least. You honestly, like, that air dodge was super good for Mega because if you take that explosive flame or like a neutral air dodge through it, then you have to hold so much more, and you're you're still already holding 80%. Mm -hmm. your almost your stock, and now you have to contest with yet uh, potentially another up smash, another down tilt at the ledge. 120 effectively unanswered before Mega got a chance to refresh his jump. Pretty much, and now Mega still stuck at the ledge trying to make some space for himself with the Aether, but the invincible dash attack coming through for Jen, catching the downward swing, and Mega has just not gotten to play in quite a while. Ooh, great parry on the explosive flame, though. Finally getting a little bit of an opening, but Mega has just not been able to, like, make as much out of his openings as Jen has. Uh, now Jen just playing the the catch all type of coverage. One sixty, you just gotta land anything. Get another couple of those quick draws though. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, like clean burst movement and having a nice hitbox in front of you can, uh, especially on the horizontal plane, can really make the most of uh, in terms of interrupting a lot of characters that like to space out with these aerials. But while Mega was down a little bit at the start of this stock, he's looking like he's given a Jen a taste of his own medicine, pressuring him and holding down in the corner, playing the stage control game up until you don't, you can't anymore. But you find that forward tilt and you bring this to a last stock situation. The dash attack just going right through that auto reticle, but you know, one neutral air is all it takes for Jen to really start cashing out once again. Been a while since we've seen a full combo like that from uh, from Jen. Though double up air has been quite the staple of Mega's low percent combo game. An up smash there, but not getting the strong hit. Now you get locked in with another quick draw. That's so oh, Mega is just finding so many of these call outs in order just to get back to stage. You're so close to taking this game and playing through so much of the so much of Jen's like positional offense. Ooh, using the neutral air, and actually Ow. catching with the up air, Mega, you know, despite such a strong showing from Jen throughout that entire game one, Mega clutching it out with the up air. Super tight game there on the part of Jen and Mega, but the same thing that happened in this first dock, right? As we see the forward tilt close it out there, Mega just surviving just time after time, bit after bit, and acknowledging that I, while you're a big body, and you've got a pretty mediocre disadvantage. Ike's win condition is always going to be his raw strength. Mm -hmm. Able to power through a lot of matchups in very particular ways by just utilizing that up air. And that's all true, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I do also just want to call out uh, 
Mega's adaptations in that game one on Jen's neutral because, I mean, as we've seen, Jen is able to get so much off of a stray hit, whereas Mega has been mostly getting resets. A lot of, like, just resetting the situation into more forward tilts, into more down tilts, and Mega has just been really making the most out of that. Oh, getting interrupted before he's able to find a late hit in there. Counter! That was like the worst position you could be <laughs> in now. <laughs> like, I get it, but also, uh, was it worth it? <laughs> All right, able to quick draw back to ledge, but that long-lasting hitbox of the down tilt. What a quick draw. The calculation of the duration, able to get over the explosive flame. Wow. One, of, one of these days, Maybe, not right now, but one of these days, we're going to see Mega do up throw, up smash. Like, he's going to read Jen's soul with something like a, an up smash, or maybe another one of these dash attacks. Looking for a high teleport there, and Mega swinging for the fences, just waiting to see what Jen will get hit by. Yeah, just kind of fighting <laughs> fighting the ghosts almost, waiting for the Palutena to appear within his sword. But, I mean, you really do kind of have to respect and go for those reads on the, the teleport cancels. Oh, didn't complete the jab though, instead pivoting more into uh, into more of this offense. Jen doing such a good job at following up, up off of uh, reading these defensive options from Mega. Ooh, up air, up tilt from ledge, super nice stuff from, from Mega. And any, just sometimes all it takes is a little bit, another air dodge read, but doesn't follow up into a big finisher, just gets double nair and that's it. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, misreads Jen's DI there. Instead goes for the forward air instead of the up air, but gets to set up once again, now looking for some juggles. Wow, the jump back from ledge. Ooh, the up smash not hitting on the on the re-grab. That's awareness. That's understanding that Palutena up smash is really good, super active, and hits pretty low, but it only hits on some ledge hangs, mm -hmm. not all of them. Awareness of your character's ledge hang of all things in order to turn that uh, turn a game that was looking pretty dark into a huge advantage and no jump on the part of Jen, but he gets back to ledge. Mega once again playing at these burst ranges, just kind of barely outside the range of his sword, and once again able to get those grabs in the back hit of the neutral air as well. Getting high there. Well, oh, wave Whoa. bounce, quick draw. And it, see, I knew the up yeah. was coming, right? <laughs> it didn't work, but, you know, you got to give me one. And you got to give Jen that one. Uh, yeah. Like, falling straight into the explosive flame. Very little resources to go about this. And ending a neutral air, but good STI up from Megan or to get to platform. Ooh. He was at 60. We were, we were all bugging. <laughs> <laughs> Super Armor coming through for Mega. Just quick drawing right back onto the stage. This is still very this is still very much within Jen's grasp, especially if he's able to set up another one of those edge guards using that up smash to catch the high recovery. <gasps> oh, oh, and the, the eruption is gonna be taking it. Mega taking it 2-0 over Jen. Jen is knocked off of the stream setup and now uh, Gatsby coming in as the new as challenger. The, yeah, people are like, Mega, I don't know where you're going there, but, uh, yeah. but you got to play against Gatsby for third. The lone, I think it's the Yeah, and this is a uh, a revenge match. Gatsby being the one to put Mega in losers in a 2-0 set. Yeah, bit of deja vu here, if I do say so, uh, Force, because we're watching Mega and Gatsby play for the right to play against Zamba, and see who's able to take the crown here at Xeno number 288. Yep, 288. Very Numbers. interested to see how Mega uh, adapts in this upcoming set because I'm not going to lie, that that first Mega versus Gatsby set was rough. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a slog. You know, check out this. Oh, my God. Like, the fact that Mega, most of the time in disadvantage here, would play around with this... Uh, would play with like quick draw as just like his go-to disadvantage option like quick draw across the stage try and get that auto cancel before jen has a chance to and jen plays with that in mind but mega just does the most brazen thing and just hard fast falls straight down like what a call out to do in a a last stock like last hit situation where if you get put disadvantage again like it's almost getting like you're almost guaranteed to get closed mm -hmm. out 
But this just raw fast fall, like chase down, uh, recognizing that Jen wants to chase, and then it turns into pure advantage because he gets the stock off of it immediately. Super nice stuff there from Mega, and they got their own speedy set to get right into because the pace isn't stopping. Oh, I told them to wait. They're stopping. Uh oh, oh they're.